And happy Sunday morning to you. Daniel's in the shower and I'm gonna be planting today. Cool. Um, so some people think that we're moving because I'm cleaning some stuff out. Actually, when I'm thinking about it here, just sitting on the couch, you know, purging and cleaning is kind of a way to look back at what where you've been and to where you're going. So um, I was thinking about my one of the houses that I, my wife and I moved into and uh, the landlord came in and we had dropped everything into the basement, didn't really organize anything, it was kind of a mess. So they did a house inspection halfway through our tenancy there and uh, they left us a note that we need to clean up the basement and uh, sort our boxes and keep things off the ground because the basement was leaking. So most of the stuff that was in the basement was stuff from my college years and a lot of childhood memories that I, I've been dragging. And so at this point, I have moved, I think, three times at least. I think it was about three times, four times maybe. And it was to, to the point where I keep dragging the stuff to the next house and to the next house and to the next house. So my wife and I went downstairs and I'm like, do I need my college stuff? Do I need this? Do I need that? And um, so eventually you just go downstairs and say, I don't need this. I don't need this. So a lot of my childhood memories, if not everything now, is completely gone into the garbage. Um, not at this point, but many years ago. And so I end up uh, in a rough situation where I literally had to leave and basically left everything behind, which included the rest of my childhood memories and everything that I had dragged with me. So I kind of moved on and it kind of felt good to kind of just move out just with a few clothes on your back and just to restart life without dragging everything in the past with me. So in some way, I kind of regret not having like um, some of the stuff that I did um, have as a child, maybe my stuffies or whatever that was meaningful for me at the time. But in a way too, it was a way to release those memories into the past. And so um, right now we're kind of cleaning the house and just kind of like seeing what we have. Um, you, you see our house, just generally speaking, there's not a lot of knickknacks. I'm not a collector in the sense. I love to collect Lego. I'm, I'm obsessed with my friend Adney that's doing that. And I so want to do it, but then I don't want to fall into the point where I'm collecting something that maybe I'll just fall out of love with. But, you know, things in life change. Um, I do collect a lot of yarn, but it is business oriented. If I was not who I was, I would not have as much yarn, of course, uh, but it is a business expense and everything that we have to do to run the business. So as I mentioned, some as I think I mentioned, somebody mentioned that we're probably moving. I'm like, I'm not moving, I'm just cleaning. And I was watching a show during we had a significant rain uh, event here that lasted a week. And so at the beginning of it, I was watching TV all day, crocheting and getting my stuff done. And uh, anyway, so it was about purging and getting rid of some of the past. And I think for me personally, and I'm only speaking for me, is that getting rid of the past sometimes allows the baggage that you drag with that item. Um, I found myself with the childhood memories that I was dragging with me. It's like you look at it and you have memories. And my, I had a good childhood, to be honest with you. I had great parents. Um, so I've been very fortunate with that. But, you know, life moves on. People move on. Um and it just is the way it is. So uh, for myself, when I look at the house here, there's really nothing here um, that is like that seriously old. Um, I have a tendency just to kind of say F it and let's just clean and let's just get rid of stuff. Um, the other thing I don't like and this, and again, speaking for myself, is that I don't like yard sales or garage sales. I don't like hosting them. Um, I find that people will stop the car and they won't even get out and say, that stuff is garbage. And so I'd rather not go through that. I'd rather just give it away. And my personal value on anything is that if I'm done using something, it has no value to me at all. So some of the stuff that we did give away in the um, last week, you know, there was some significant value there. Um, but if it, you don't personally, in my case, if I don't personally value it, it's worth zero dollars. And why I bought it, I've gotten my use out of it and I'm ready to move on and give it to somebody else. So that's just my personal thing. A lot of people like to sell their stuff and whatever and to get their money back or at least a portion of it, which I think is admirable, but it's not in the cards for me. So I think you have to know yourself and know your limit and know what's important for you. Um, I find when I'm listening to friends where they get inherited of a parent or somebody that's died and then they just keep it because they cannot let it go. I'm totally not one of those people. So don't ever give me anything that um, is like that because I'm just at the point where I'm like, okay, I'm done using it. I'm ready to move on. 
And so, so for myself, the only thing I have from my childhood is a few albums. Um, literally, I have no photographs of myself from 2000 all the way to 2008. So eight years is missing in my life photographic. So I had a computer, it crashed on me and everything was digital at that point. So I never printed anything. So that's just one of those items where you just somehow have, have to let it go. And sometimes you just have to keep it in your mind. Um, so it's been uh, really quite interesting just to kind of see that. So, and Daniel doesn't have a lot of memories here. There's a few, there's a, I think one painting here that is a memory from 20 some odd years ago for him. And then there is his photo albums that he has as a child. But other than that, uh, we're both kind of similar in that way, where when we're ready to move on, we just kind of move on. So um, the only thing I value, um, personally speaking, is art. So because art is human made, and it's uh, done with um, intention. And so that's the only thing that, that I would struggle to get rid of. Even if I have to take it down off the wall, I would have a hard time parting with it because it is original and somebody uh, made that, and it's something that I valued, and it's something that I enjoy. So I think you have to know your limit, and know when to let things go, and you know, as I mentioned, I don't like a lot of knickknacks here in the house, so it just, it makes it a lot easier when you have that mentality as well, so. So not moving, just organizing, um, just kind of pushing out some of the old um, to let in the new, and, uh, I think that's one thing I have learned in my years is that when you go to Ikea or something like this, you just start buying crap and then you realize you're throwing it out and it just collects dust. Um, I do that with sometimes with electronics where you buy stuff and, or a program is like, oh, this would be great. And then you use it for a few times and then it's like collecting dust. So um, an Apple Watch is like that for me. So, but don't tell Danny that. Um, so that's kind of something that, what's, go, what's going on around here. So just cleaning purging and it feels good actually i love it i love it more than i'm probably supposed to but i do enjoy it because i know somebody else can use my thing and maybe it'll enhance their life in some way after i'm done using it just my perspective